Hey guys, this is Kevin on behalf of Simple Tech Reviewers. Today showing you how to install a micro ATX motherboard into this case. Uh, today we're using the Logisys CS368 mid tower case. And for our motherboard we're using an MSI motherboard with an F AMD FX6300 CPU. There it is, micro ATX. So the first thing you want to do is make sure you're properly grounded. I have an anti-static wristband on. You can get those off eBay for around $2. This keeps static electricity from damaging any of your components. Uh, make sure it's connected to some metal. The next thing I would do is make as much room as possible, which means getting all the power supply cables out if you have the power supplier mounted, which in this case it was it came out of the box already mounted. Make sure your fan connectors are out of the way, your front panel connectors are out of the way also, like the power switch, reset switch, and LEDs. And the next thing you want to do is count the number of holes that are on the motherboard. In this particular MSI motherboard we have six. Uh, you can see that's one there for the mounting. They usually have circles with uh, metal reinforcement around the mounting holes. So this one has one, two, three, four, five, six. So you want to get your brass motherboard hold. Uh, these are the brass stands that your motherboard sit sits on, and you want to install them in the appropriate holes. So we got one on the upper right hand side of the case. You can just hand tighten them as tight as you can. No need for pliers or else in the future if you decide you want to take those off and reconfigure them for a different motherboard, you'll find that it'll be really hard to do. So we got our first two brass standoffs in there. Grab two more and install them in the center right and center left of the case. And then grab the last two and install them on the on the lower lower left and lower right of the case. Now if you had a if you had a regular ATX motherboard or a full ATX motherboard you would be installing standoffs on pretty much the whole case. The motherboard would come out out to here instead of just stopping here and it would come down further also. And uh, just go ahead and double check the your brass standoffs, make sure they're not crooked or anything, which will make insulation much easier. And when everything looks good, go ahead and take your motherboard I.O. shield plate out and firmly press it into the back of the case. Make sure you're lining up the connectors correctly. We got the audio for the bottom of the case and the PS2 mouse and keyboard on the top. So go ahead and just snap that in. It just it should just snap in. Not out much force. There you go. You should hear a, a clicking sound. And the next thing to do would be taking your motherboard out. Uh, I highly recommend installing the CPU so that way you have a place to hold the motherboard while you're dropping it in. And just line it up. The best way to do this is line it up with the IO shield plate. 
making sure all the connectors are on the correct slot. And there you have it. And what you want to do is connect, uh, screw in, screw in the screws for the mounting. And you're pretty much done. And that's how you install a motherboard into a computer case. And the next thing would you would do next would be to install your drives, your CD, DVD drive, or burner. Install your hard drives or solid state drives, graphics cards, and connect everything together. And that about wraps it up. Thanks for watching, guys. This is Kevin on behalf of Simple Tech Reviewers. Uh, if you liked our videos, please remember to subscribe, comment, like, and thanks for watching, guys. This is Kevin signing out.